Hey, good morning. Good morning. It's Jackie from Island Girl Tarot and Sacred Journeys. Good morning. It's really early. It's like five in the morning. I've been up since three. <laughs> so I thought, well, got to get our day started. So let's see what we want to do today. Calling in angels and ancestors and spirit guides. And they're already here because I've already been talking to them. But still, calling in your angels and spirit guides. What do we need to know today? Cleansing and purifying everything between me and you. Cleansing and clearing everything between you and people from yesterday. Cleansing and clearing everything between me and everybody from yesterday. Ooh, okay, cool. We have the ear. I don't know if you can see this. Hold on. Can you see that? It looks just like white here, but anyway, it, it's actually a little white ear. I found it on the beach. You can't quite see it, sorry, because the lighting. Sorry about that. Anyway, it looks like the shape of an ear. So it's a call to listen today. Listen to see what spirit has for us. Listen to what people are saying. Don't assume anything. Just allow people to express themselves. The next one up is Thurisayas, which is a repeat from yesterday. Talking about, oh no, is that right? No, forgive me. No, nope, I'm sorry, my bad. Today is Wunjo. It looks like a P, the letter P. Can you see that? Oh, my lighting is weird today, I'm sorry. Um, but anyway, it's talking about joy, comfort, pleasure, glory and fellowship okay and the next one this is a repeat from yesterday physical strength speed and sexual desire okay and the last one up for today okay so this is Fehu but It kind of looks like it's reversed. Well, maybe not. No, yeah, to me it looks like it's reversed because the arrows are pointing down. Money, hope, luck, success, happiness, and the upright. But failure and loss in the reverse. But it's really interesting because the in it's got to be this way because the branches are pointing down that would make it reverse all right so be careful you may um you may have some loss in money like if you're in the stock market be careful what you invest in you know be careful because the stock market's been crazy make sure that you know where your money's being gone where, where it's spent Make sure there's not excessive fees on your credit card or your banking account. Sometimes these fees come out of nowhere. So it feels like that is a message to be aware, study where what's going on, self-discipline, meditation, but also joy and comfort. Joy and comfort. And so let's see, the four of rods, family, and the lovers reversed. Okay, so you may actually be losing some sort. Ooh, okay. Lovers reversed, page of swords reversed. You may not be having a conversation with someone, somebody in your family. You may be waiting on somebody to get back to you, but they're not. Someone's up in their head. Someone's really worried about something, anxious about something. And again, this is a repeat from yesterday. The five of rods, they wanna come out of fighting with you, but they're not quite talking to you yet. They're not quite sure what to do or how to approach you, but you guys apparently did have a fight and it didn't end well. Here's a 10 of cups reversed, yikes, okay. But, the, but it is a family because the four of rods is upright, but you guys are not communicating the 10 of, the Ten of Cups reversed and the Lovers reversed. So you guys are not seeing eye to eye right now. You're not communicating right now. Okay, so try to keep positive. Stay positive, focus on your joy. 
comfort. There may be something going on with this person that you don't know. Undoubtedly, they're up in their head about something. And you may have had a falling out with them in the past, but there's more going on than you know. The Nine of Pentacles on its side. Actually, you know what it's feeling like, to be honest? They may actually be having other family problems, marital problems that you don't know about. And so, yeah, that's just kind of on the table because there's a lot of lovers reversed, ten of cups reversed, five of rods. They want to come out of fighting, but they are not in a good place because it's a broken relationship. So tell us more, Spirit. What do we need to know? They're not talking to you right now. The Seven of Pentacles landed on top of the Page of Swords. So they're really tired. Look, this poor guy, he's wore out. He is really wore out. He's, it looks like he's really wore out. Seven of Pentacles. Could be seven years, seven months, seven days. He's really tired of investing in something a very long time looks like. And the Eight of Cups fell out afterwards. He's ready to walk away. He's ready to walk away from something. Yeah, judgment reversed. So whatever this is, seven weeks, seven months, seven days, seven years. There's not going to be... There's not going to be a, a second chance here. Judgment reverse talks about not a second chance. Ace of Wands reverse. There's a lack of passion. What else do we need to know here? This seems very personal. This seems very personal. So someone's still up in their head. Nine of Swords, they can't sleep. They want to, it seems like they want to walk away from something. They want to walk away. They're just not saying it yet. They're really having a hard time. What do we need to know here, please? Spirit. What's the final message, please, for us? Message or advice, please, Spirit? What do we need to do? The Ace of Coin is here, though. The Ace of Coin landed on top of the Page of Swords. So you will be hearing from this person. And you may actually be finding out a lot more about what's going on in their personal life that you were not aware of. It looks to me like they're leaving a different relationship behind that is not, it's not being good. And so this feels almost like family rather than partnership you know this feels like or it could be somebody that you used to know a long time ago if it's not your family it could be somebody else that you used to know but when they got married or you know people kind of shift directions and you haven't heard from them in a while and maybe actually the last time you did speak to them it, you guys had an argument this is very interesting and so there is clarity coming Somebody is going to want to speak to you about something, and it's going to be positive news. So something, something, something is happening in this person's life where it looks like they're walking away from something that is not making them happy. It's actually causing them a lot of grief and a lot of anxiety. But they're coming towards you. They're coming towards you with the sun. You could be dealing with a Leo, but this is very positive. So whoever's coming towards you, they're going to be coming towards you, letting you know a lot about what's been going on. And look, again, look, this little boy on here, it's like they need, look, this is the same kid. Right now they're feeling like this beat up but when they come towards you it feels like they are coming towards you like a little child 
and they really truly just need some love and affection they need some care some tender care so this might be somebody that you uh, really used to know a, a longtime friend and they are walking away from something that's been super heavy and um, I feel like they just need a safe space to come to so maybe this is your invitation to be uh, really a place of an oasis is what I heard I just heard oasis a refuge so whoever's coming towards you, even if it's been a long minute, you know, try to let that story go about, oh, you know, I haven't heard from you in years. And now all of a sudden you're here. No, don't worry. Let that go. Allow, if somebody's coming towards you from a long time ago, try to see them as this little boy because they're very happy to see you. And it feels like they've been going through a hard time and they need a safe space. They need a safe space. So it's an invitation for you to be that safe space for someone. Well, so allow yourself to be in a place of non-judgment. It's here, the judgment card is reversed. Be in a place of non-judgment when this person comes because somebody's coming towards you. They are leaving something else behind and they're coming towards you for solace, for, for grace, for help, for help. Yeah. Wow, that's deep. And listen, just listen. This is where this little ear comes in. Maybe you can see it better now. Can you see that? Just have a listening ear. Don't have any judgment. Try not to. Just hold space for someone to really share their heart. Wow. It feels like something really powerful is going to happen, guys. So be prayed up. Whatever, whatever you do, make sure you're at peace. Make sure that you feel good. And try not to have any gut reactions without even hearing the story. Try to let the old stories go so you can see who's in front of you now. And that they can see who you, who you are now. All right, guys. Well, much love and light. Much love and light. And we'll talk to you later. Bye.